Hi guys, Brad with Monero Marine and today in this video we're talking about the hull extension. Now this is a boat we're building. It's a uh, 25 footer. Now I did a video like this a few years ago and I'm just gonna do it again uh, just see if I can do a better job at it. So this is how we extend our hull to make a 25 foot model. So here, that is, that is the end of our mold. So our hull mold just goes to there. That would be our 24 foot model. Now we don't have a, a mold for the 25 foot. So we created a mold just to do this extension here. And to make it a little easier to join, we stepped it in a little bit. So it just butts right in to the existing hull. So the process is to lay up this hull, the 24 foot hull. Now we don't need as much plywood in the transom uh, because there's nothing hanging off at the back of it. So we've got one layer of three quarter inch. Now people probably question, oh, why are you using wood? You should be using composite. Well, we've been using wood since the beginning, the 70s, and it's worked. It's worked well. Uh, one example on another boat that we repaired actually two of them the same model fairly new boat they don't make them anymore uh, but they're very popular boats I won't mention the name but they used a composite foam in the transom and they were very weak there was a lot of stress uh, they had twin outboards on them and you jiggled the, the motors and you could see the flex in the in the hull so we had to fix this for them so we we added extra layup and created a uh, little brace that went in the in the, the well the motor well um, it just it wasn't strong enough so there you go um, back to our boat here so again first step was to lay up this hull here and the wood that we put in we don't have to, have to take it all the way down it ended down here uh, just the bottom here and the rest is just glass because we were just cutting it out anyways so then we lay up this uh, transom hull piece now this is where the motor is going to hang off so we made a lot thicker so we've got two layers of three quarter inch and then another layer with a uh, half inch so all together with the glass it's uh, just over two inches thick all right so we've completed that and then we cut the transom out here this is cut out and when we lay up this hull, the stringers, they don't go all the way. You can see, you see that diagonal line there? That's where they ended. So then we have to line up this hull. Uh, it's not an easy process. But we have to line up the bottoms. You can see there we line it up and then uh, it's a lot of glassing involved and fairing so all that green is the filler so we're fairing it all right once the hulls are joined we do glass it in a number of spots you can see it's glassed right through there 
this extension actually overlaps. That's why there's a bump. So they overlap, they're screwed together and pasted. Once the paste is cured, then we pull the screws out and then we glass over that. And then here we glass that in. So that's totally watertight. And then we extend our stringers. So there's four stringers total. The stringers are made up of uh, two layers of three quarter inch plywood. And then the, the stringers are, are glass to the hull, to the transom. Once that's done, uh, then we put foam inside. So underneath the floor is foam. Then the floor goes in. And now we're to the point of putting the swim grid on. And here's the swim grid that will go on top of that hull extension. Now it was modified from the mold. It's designed so the engine sits inside this bubble which we have removed. You can see the uh, perimeter of it. Um, but this boat will be an outboard, so we removed that in the mold and then we also added this uh, notch out uh, just to give room for the motor to tilt up. Here's the swim grid as it will sit in place. So it'll be pasted down and then it's going to be glassed uh, all along there to the hull. and it will be bolted in these spots right here and you can see we've got wood inside that the bolts will fasten to now you see this big gap here uh, so this the deck will actually mount here so we've modified the deck uh, we stretched it a bit uh, so this will just be uh, kind of floating, but we can't just cut it off because it'll ruin the uh, structural integrity of the boat. So the, there'll be molding that wraps around along here, and you see how it ends. There'll be uh, another piece that, that comes in here, so the molding will be uh, extended through into the hull. The swim grid's now permanently mounted, so it's been uh, sealed here and bolted. Three leg bolts on each side going into the, the wood that's uh, in the swim grid. And then underneath here, it's been pasted all the way across with the fiberglass paste. So now we're glassing on the inside using uh, two mat and two biaxial. On the outside we glassed with two mat and one biaxial all the way across and around the side inside there and then we just uh, put the white gel to match the hull and then up underneath it's a grey gel coat. Okay I'm going to call this video all done. We've got the hull extension all permanently mounted. Same with the swim grid. Uh, there's further things to do, but that's uh, other topics. So watch for our, our next videos coming soon. Uh, make sure you subscribe to us. Thanks for watching.